next, it's a heavyweight clash between Bruce Lee and Daniel Hooker. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 21 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Daniel the Hangman Hooker. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And they separate. Nice straight punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He'll engage in a single collar tie. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, 
he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good spin. Back and forth we go here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. All collar tie. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head in the clinch. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Big kick. Oh, single collar tie there. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. He is all about that left kick to the body. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Well placed with the kick. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. All right, he engages in the single power tie. He's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Hooker gets in the clinch again. This has historically been a good position for him. Let's see how he attacks here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the bar. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, single collar tie now. So oh, nice. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Big punch land. Ooh. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture. Land those nice elbows around, the, around this bar. Oh, nice right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Lee. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, man, head kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Booker gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Shoot him, bro. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You got to try to find whether or not you're going to land ground and pound here or if you're going to go to a submission. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. And he continues to work the body here. Hardy closes the
the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice, nice. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Powerful leg kick land. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. He's back in the position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Nice punch there by Lee. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Single collar tie now. Shot blocked there by Hooker. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp. Cat and mouse. You gotta put cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Hooker gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Looks like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Hooker. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he just keeps making his splits, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big all punch land. Now he gets back to range. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Kick. Hooker's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Muay Thai plum. Hooker gets caught with that punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Just out of the range with that right hand. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Slips. Goes back to that left kick once again. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice punch there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy. Oh, a great him. big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, 
and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, my God. Shot to the body, turned back by Lee. Hooker gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Lee got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Hooker's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off after several failed attempts. He finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Back to the feet now. Beautiful punch. And a big elbow inside. Another shot lands upstairs. Big power shot there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. And both guys really throwing with authority. And they separate. Unable to land with that punch. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. How good is that right now? Hooker's got the tie clinch now. Lee's hook to the body appeared to be blocked by the defense. A little single collar tie there. Nice punch by Hooker. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John. But he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, the opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. Battling for hooks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunge. Big shot lands. Nice defense there. Huge block. That is how you scramble, folks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. All right, single collar tie now. Hooker gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Beautiful body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice loose punch. Hooker's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the punk start to slow down, and I take many of those kicks. Take down a template, and it's good. Lee's got his head looking for a guillotine. He might 
might get a finish here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Big kick land. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Right hand punch to the clinch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Big kick land. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Target with that left hand. Back and forth we go! Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that area. Oh, big punch land. Try to establish that jab. Right hand upstairs. Hook to the head, lands flush there by Lee. Just missing on the high kick there. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Got the single collar tie. Punch is blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Working out of that southpaw stance. Boy, tie plump. Connects with a right. Another clinch position. Just misses with the jab there. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Just misses with that one. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got to go do something very fast. Hooker gets up again here, but he goes first. Outstanding output on both sides. Oh! Goodness, what a fight. Yeah, no doubt an absolutely brutal elbow to stop his opponent here tonight. And this has clearly been a weapon that has been a part of his arsenal in his UFC career. But it takes a lot of repetitions in the gym and a lot of confidence to willingly throw elbows the way he did there. So a lot of force in a short distance. And when you execute it like that, it is absolutely devastating. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.